Indian police arrest mentally ill Muslim man for burning the Quran. On November 2nd, four copies of the Quran were discovered burnt in a mosque, sparking protests in uh, Shah Janpur town of the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. The following day, one man was detained by police in connection with the case. He was identified as a Muslim man who claimed that he was mentally sick. After reviewing numerous CCTV tapes, Ramit Sharma, Inspector General of Police of uh, Barilvi Range, informed the media that the perpetrator had been identified as Taj Muhammad. When asked about the Quran during his interview, he said, it's not me, but my soul has burnt it. Hundreds gathered near the mosque to condemn the blasphemous act as the news spread throughout the city. Some angry Muslims allegedly set fire to banners, banners and staged a protest demanding the arrest of the person responsible. Some of them screamed slogans against the police administration and accused the authorities of being slow to respond to their complaints in arriving at the scene. There were also reports of stone pelting in the vicinity. SP Anand said that the criminals who caused the commotion in the town would be identified and quote unquote stern action would be taken against them. Wait, so which criminals? The people who are like stoning and burning stuff down? Like not this guy, right? This guy is going to be let free? I don't know if he'll be let free. I know that he was arrested. I mean, because this is, this does fit within numerous like violations of the Indian penal code. But he's mentally ill and this is India. It's not Pakistan. They should let him go. Like, True, he claims not... to be mentally ill. We'll see. I don't know. Oh, I really okay. don't know what the standards are, you know? about because in america like there's a very specific threshold for mm. being held not responsible not liable for the actions you take because of mental in incompetency i don't know what that standard or threshold is in india wait so you said this news turned out okay which part of it turned out okay i was i was okay. waiting for in a positive spin on the end. i mean there's not a positive spin in it i just mean oh. the sense that like we're used to this ending in i mean especially if we compare this to pakistan I mean, this, yeah, could set an entire, I didn't this could set the entire town on fire. You know, like, I'm like, okay, some people set a few not things on fire. India, that don't help or you, Muslim. Guy. Yeah, I don't. I mean, no. what do you think would happen to him if Muslims in India got his, their hands over? Like, I don't think he would die. Do you think he would die? I, I, I bet he would die in Pakistan, but oh, I don't think he would die. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I don't think he would die in India. Can he? Can you correct guys in the live chat? Can you tell me if the Muslims in India would you be as scared for this man's life um, as you would be in in Pakistan? I think he would be like maybe okay. like be beaten up a little bit and then handed over to police or something, but not killed. I don't know because like there's a lot of mob violence that happens in India in general, like even outside of religious lines or religious colorings to it so i mean but if you compare it to pakistan of course it's going to be better than pakistan yeah yeah everywhere is better than pakistan um but Ox okay so oxymoron who's hindutva is agreeing with me okay so he's saying they will let him go so guys this is coming from hindutva not like not some pro-muslim mm -hmm. shill or something right so it, he said they will let him they will let him go if they keep him in if they wish to protect oh they will keep him in if in the prison if they are wishing to protect them and people are saying no and yep so people are agreeing or disagreeing with me i think yeah um so i think he didn't insult the prophet probably being okay but that's actually i don't know if i agree with that just okay. because he didn't insult the prophet the probability of no. being killed is less i mean he i agree with he burned the quran isn't that worse no insulting the prophet i agree with bengali hindu insulting the prophet is worse because the prophet is just so dear to their eyes they love him so much more than their own mothers that's what they say it's a person so you're emotionally are more attached to a person than a book i mean the book burning is pretty bad don't get me wrong the, the quran burning is like really really horrible but prophet prophet is like is like something else Unless they're Shia, and if you're Shia, you don't give a crap about the Prophet. <laughs> it's about it's Hussein and Zainab and Ali all the way. They don't admit that, by the way. If a Shia was here, they would be like, "No, I mean it's not true. We love the Prophet." I'm like, "You don't care about the Prophet. You don't even care about Allah as a Shia." 
<laughs> Damn. Okay. No, no. I'm saying like this no, is I not an exaggeration. This is a funny detour. <laughs> I am not exaggerating. If you're a Shia Muslim, you are pretending to care about Allah. You don't care about Allah. You don't care about Muhammad. Okay, all you pray, you you know, you every time you you're praying sincerely, you invoke Ali, Hussein, or Zainab. And if I inf- insult Muhammad in front of you, you wouldn't be nearly as butthurt as you would be if I was like, you know, saying something about Fatima, or Hussein, or Ali. Not even close. And people know this. People like Shias know this is true. Okay. Anyways, why did we end on this detour? Anyways, I hope this guy survives. I hope, like, why did he burn the Quran? Just uh, just for a little bit. Well, he said that he didn't burn it. His soul burnt it. It's, like, not entirely clear. Not entirely clear. But he did it inside of a mosque. And he's Muslim. Or I... You know, and a lot of times in Indian media, when they say someone is Muslim, they just mean they come from a Muslim background. They have a Muslim name. Like, so we know that he comes from a Muslim background. Like, is he a real ass, like, practicing Muslim? I don't know. Mm. More of a cultural Muslim, maybe. It could be a very, it could be an ex Muslim that is trying to find a way to survive. An ex-Muslim who really hates the Islam and is burning a Quran inside of a mask because he hates this crap, or and he's like, or he's just actually mentally ill. We don't know. Pretty wild. We can't. Yeah, pretty crazy. I know it's Imagine a lot harder me, to be. An, I mean, I know, if you're not, if yeah, go on. I know it's a lot harder to be an ex-Muslim in the northern parts of India. Like what Indian ex-Muslims tell me is that the reason why we're seeing such an explosion of apostasy in South India is because it is a lot safer to come out against Islam in those areas. So that's why we see so much more people coming out and being publicly ex-Muslim in those areas, which I thought was very interesting. Imagine being, imagine if he's not mentally ill. If he's not mentally ill, then imagine being an ex-Muslim in India and taking a Quran to a mosque and burning it. This man then has like balls of steel if that's what he did. If he's not mentally four ill. of them, it wasn't just one. Yeah, Some okay. reports say he burnt four. Four, like, oh, you're like, I'm not done yet. I have more copies. <laughs> <laughs> so, before you arrest me, I have two more copies to finish. Um, can Excuse we? Excuse me, sir, I'm not done yet. <laughs> You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.